Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday before the Wednesday, that's FOMC. Got a lot of releases today from the world. Trade balances. Jolts, job openings. German trade, Swiss unemployment, none of it really means too much, uh, so we basically got a whole lot of nothing, it's kind of like a shit sandwich uh, served up from the from the calendar, so really what do we have to go on is price, um, some weird stuff happened overnight, let's go quickly around and see what's going on, let's talk dollar max to start, uh, dollar max printed a new low, but rejected it pretty ceremoniously see this bullish engulf so it looks like they just forced stops to 146 jammed higher uh, we were short dollar max uh, at 51 but now we've cut it it's a bit weird that I'm a little bit skeptical and now I'm wondering if this market's gonna get caught um, too many people looking risk on at the same time this has all of the makings of some sort of uh, silly squeeze going into FOMC. So be real careful with this. Uh, would not be surprised if we saw some dollar buying today. Cable did the same. Bang. 55 paid in the middle of Asia where no one even understands or knows how to trade cable. Slap. That's right. Bang. Slap. It's like a bar fight of teenage girls 127 the figure given <laughs> weird so you got dollar max doing that you got um, cable doing that dollars are whoops same shit different pair 63 given big reversal bullish engulf now we're going to go into Asia, and anyone who is hesitant on squaring their shorts is going to have to pay some high ones here. So let's just be careful top side today in the dollar. Um, not sure why, but it just looks like there's a lot of squaring up going on. On the other side of that equation, all the dollar yen longs have been eviscerated. This is cross yen selling, right? Euro yen is now a cool. Uh, 260 points from its highs. Sterling yen has turned. It's down 0.6. Aussie yen turned. Swiss yen turned. So dollar yen has just been factorized out by cross yen. Nothing to do here. I would not buy this. One of the spooky pieces of research yesterday was the 300 trillion um, in sales of U.S. bond sales by the Japanese. That's 30 billion. Um, 30 billion dollars worth of US assets that they dumped um, that's not great for dollar yen so let's just sit tight here and, and see what happens as far as trades going forward today um, we're obviously watching Eurocad we will be watching this forever until it trades and also Euro Sterling uh, yesterday we snuck down to 67 been dicking around here uh, the euro dollar sort of wipeout trade is what would drive this. So, but prices down through 70, looks like they could extend and, and accelerate a bit. So, let's just keep that in mind. Euro sterling downside, euro CAD downside. How is that going to happen? Probably means euro dollar through 68. And, uh, but it's a weird one because it's unanimous amongst. Uh, the banking research community that we need to buy dips in euro um, so it won't, it'll be slow going right but wouldn't it be sort of typical is everyone who's late to the party in euro buys a dip before the FOMC uh, and now it'll get stuck going into the FOMC with a position at the high end of the range Christ I feel like we've seen this movie before right uh, so We'll see. Uh, for the euro sterling cable could drive it if we're wrong about this dollar turn. Um, because there's not much out today that's useful as far as information and it doesn't look like the, 
there's going to be much talk, uh, media talk or polit political talk today. Um, I guess we have Kunlif BOE guy speaking at the end of the day, but what the hell is he going to say, right? Who knows? Let's just watch price here and see what happens. I think 68 is going to be important in euro dollar. Um, so it's 70 in euro sterling and 150.50 in euro CAD. Uh, 150.50 is obviously a long ways away. Gold, no idea. Surprised it's not lower, uh, but it's not. So that's pretty bullish, actually. No position in gold. Uh, tens, this should uh, have very, very strong resistance at um, 75 basis points. So let's let's take a look where we are right now on the old basis points. Right now we are. Huh, let me look, look, look. Eighty-four. So we, we we think there's going to be very strong resistance here, 77, 75 basis points. So it's still got a ways to go, but you could probably sell this um, sort of half a big figure higher. So you would sell the bonds, which is buying the yield. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't try it. Uh, Bitcoin, just waiting. This thing is going to this thing is going to cruise higher one of these days. Um, Just don't know when. Euro Norway. Let's talk about an old, our old friend Euro Norway. We we rode this horse pretty well, but now we look pretty stupid. Um, cutting shorts in the high seventies. Went another, you know, five percent. And our friend Dollar Norway, motherfucker. We sold that fucker at eleven forty. Left a lot of money on the table there. Won't be the last time, I guess. Anyway, this thing, look, both of them look like they want to turn, right? This goes back to our, like, dollar max, dollar czar cable chart. This stuff looks like it wants to turn, looks like it wants to bullish engulf today at the lows after some hysterical down moves. Um, so we don't mind trading this sort of counterintuitively on the long side. Um, so we're watching oil, which has failed miserably at 40. Um, and we're watching equity. So if oil goes down, equity goes down, Euro Norway is probably going to go up. It seems a bit extended now. Um, if it's going to stop anywhere, this is kind of a neat little place, right? You can see this is 43 was the break up. Um, should either go sideways here or turn. So Euro Norway top side. Um, and if you're playing at home, if you're buying Euro Norway and selling Euro Sterling, um, you're buying Sterling Norway. What does that chart look like? Yeah, same chart. Sterling Norway, of course, on its own is a lot more hysterical uh, than Euro Norway, but uh, you can see what we're doing. Um, anyway, we're going to keep that separate. We're not going to try and uh, become uh, sex stars, matinee idols with our Sterling Norway position. Uh, we'll see how each of them goes and monitor price as needed. Might be a quiet day today, pre-FOMC. Um, but we're watching uh, Euro, Euro Sterling downside, Euro CAD downside, Euro Norway topside. Good luck, people. Talk to you tomorrow.